the most underrated Gemini feature is something that no other LLM or chatbot can do at this particular point. Eleven Labs recently launched Scribe and everybody was going bonkers because it can do transcription with speaker diarization which means if two people are speaking in an audio, it can just separate as speaker one and speaker two. And this feature is just hidden inside Gemini and somehow Gemini marketing team doesn't even talk about it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google AI Studio with Gemini and then you can do audio transcription, including speaker diarization and then do much more than that. To start with, I've got my Google AI Studio and uh, I've already uploaded the video of Satya Nadella appearing on a podcast. And this is a four minute, 57 seconds clip and then as you can see here the first thing that Google AI studio did is it took this video clip here converted into tokens so for LLMs everything is token okay so it took this video and then it understands the video it understands the audio behind it and then it converted into tokens so this has taken 87,000 tokens 616 tokens so this is basically 87,616 and the model is 1 million tokens which means we can pump in a lot more video content inside it and all I did is I just went ahead and then said, can you give me the transcript of this? And I guess you can do it separately for separate speakers. Thanks. And I didn't even mention how many speakers are there. And this is the solution until this point I've tested it with only two speakers, but it'll be pretty fascinating to see if it can do three speakers as well. And also if you are a, like an ML nerd, a machine learning nerd, uh, you can do this kind of stuff even using K-means clustering. Like if you have studied K-means clustering, if you have used K-means clustering for customer segmentation or different kind of tasks, you can do speaker uh, diarization, using K-means clustering. I, I think I might have a video where we did it for whisper, but for now the LLM can do this completely for us. Upload the video, just say this thing and then the LLM has done the transcript for me. And then it says, of course, here is a transcript for the video organized by speaker. And then you can see Satya speaking and then there is host, then Satya, then there is host and then do everything. One important thing with these LLMs is that you have to always make sure that they're not hallucinating because I've had this experience where I've given this to like different LLMs and then sometimes the timestamp is completely rubbish. Just gives you a timestamp, but it is not sure. So what I did is I wanted to check this out. So I've got uh, the podcast here. It's four minute, 57 seconds. And I'm going to go here and then just take one clip where Satya appears. So at 2.30, Satya is there like, mm, so I think S companies can, okay. So I'm gonna go, go to 2.30 here. So 2.30 here, just before 2.30, we'll stop. So therefore that's the contract. Uh, so so I, I think, think yes, companies, companies can, you know. So as you can see here, mm, I think yes, companies, you know, have. So the, that gap where he paused and then Satya again started speaking is even classified or categorized as like two different instances with, um, with the SR, uh, with the subtitle here or the timestamp here. And th this is ex extremely helpful if you're trying to do like the TikTok style dancing captions or, you know, the zooming in captions, this is extremely valuable for those kind of cases as well. So I'm going to go back here and then find another timestamp where instead of Satya, the host is talking. So I'm going to go and then say, okay, 439, the host is asking, if you did leave Microsoft, what company would you start? That's a, that, that's a very interesting question. 439, is it? Is it 439? Let's see. In yourself. If you did leave Microsoft, what company would you start? Okay, that that is there. And then the answer is company, I would start, man, uh, like, uh, I don't know, what does he say? Company I would start, man. Like that's where the company man and my... It's amazing company. I would start, man. That's like where the company on. Okay, great. So this you you saw how it was done, right? Um, but I want to do it live so that you can see how much time it takes and how the exact process is. Open your Google AI Studio. If you have never Google used Google AI Studio, I've got a separate video where I just cover most of the things. This is not a use case that I covered in that video. And some of you had given me feedback that I should go deeper, more um, advanced. So here is one advanced use case. So click create a new prompt. And after you click create a new prompt, you can select any model that you want, but I would go ahead with Flash 2.0 because Flash 2.0 is one of the fastest model available, but also it's really, really good. And if you want to translate this into code as well, like a, a actually working code, then Flash 2.0 would be cost effective for you. So keep Flash 2.0. Uh, so you've got 1 million token totally. And all you have to do is go here, just drag the podcast, whatever the clip here is, and then paste it here. And then that's it. So now all you have to do is you have to just go say, um, and as you can see here, after you upload the video clip, and in this case, it's not even audio. You can do this with audio clip alone. You can do it with audio plus video clip. You can just do it with video clip, but without audio, but take it as frames. 
So you can do a lot of different things. So here in this case, the three minute, 18 second clip, it has 58,000 tokens where, wherein like the previous one had uh, seven, 87,000 tokens for a four minute, 57 second clip. So you can understand how many tokens you can just like uh, pump in inside the existing context window. You can do the same thing with 2 million token model as well. I'm just giving you a demo of how it can do faster uh, with uh, Gemini 2.0 flash. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is, uh, can you create a spe uh, audio, an audio transcript? And um, um, you can also do it. I'm not even saying that speaker diarization, right? You can also do it by spe speaker, by speaker. Can you give me a, Okay, me a JSON output. Let's see if it can give us a JSON output. That'd be pretty fascinating. Something that I've not experimented before, just running it for the first time. So you could expect that something could go wrong. So now you can understand how much time it took to process a video clip, but also you can see how much time it is taking. Okay, because I asked for JSON, then it is not giving me the timestamp, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and then say, um, oh, sorry. Um, the timestamp is missing, bro. I hope Google doesn't mind me calling it bro. Um, but yeah, if it minds, you can see that it has taken eight seconds. Um, it did apologize and we have, um, multiple uh, timestamps. So we have got zero, zero, where the host is asking a question, zero, 10, where a uh, mark is answering and one twenty five is where the host is answering, uh, asking something again. So I'm going to go back again, then see, first of all, zero, zero, let's see. Like big picture, these yeah. next couple of decades. Sure. What's, What's happening, happening with, with AI? AI? Um, and uh, where is Mark answering? Mark is answering at 10. Okay. So we're going to go to 10, nine. In the course of human history. I think it's going to be pretty fundamental. I think it's going to He said, I think it's going to be pretty fundamental. Very nice. And uh, we are going to see 124, somewhere like 123, and then see if he ends with this statement, which is, I think, I think it's going to be I, 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 does he really say I three times? Let's go and see. So I'm going to go here, 124. I think it's going to be, it's, it's, it's going to really enable people, people, people to do the things that they want a lot more is, mm -hmm. is, is my view. But it will really change the way that we work and give people all these creative tools to do different things that they, uh, yeah, I, I think, I think it's going to be. Okay. So it it's, did it's really look like he actually said, I, 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 I like that. And uh, so maybe um, we can trust Gemini in this case and 125, one second, the host is speaking. They want a lot more is, mm -hmm. is, is my view. Is it your view that like on a. Great. Uh, so the experiment, the live demo actually worked. And like I said, you can do a lot more other things. For example, now we forced it to give us a JSON. That means you can parse through this. You can probably take only host one. You can take only the other speaker. And in fact, like you will be pretty fascinating to know that it figured out that this is Mark Zuckerberg. I didn't say it. Probably the visual language model understand this is Mark Zuckerberg. And the same thing, like even um, you can see, okay, maybe I said Satya. I don't know if that is a clue here, but it managed to figure out that this is Satya Nadella. And here in this case, this is Mark Zuckerberg, which I've not explicitly given unless until it figured it out from the file lane. So you can do this stuff. You can probably take this and then summarize it. Um, for example, I can just go here and then say, um, can you take only what SN said and summarize it as a tweet. So the potential is immense because you are not dealing with only an audio, uh, let's say audio to text model, speech to text model, rather you're dealing with a multimodal large language model, which can do multiple other things. So for example, here in this particular case, we can take what Satya said and then summarize it as a simple tweet. And all these things without you having to pay any penny. I mean, like I know now somebody would say that the data that I'm using is what Google is going to use. But if I'm going to get Gemini 2.0 flash and a bunch of other models for free, where I don't have to pay for a level up subscribe or a Descript or a bunch of other tools, which podcasters exclusively use just to do this particular bit that I'm telling you, then, you know, you don't need an editor. You don't need uh, a podcasting tool. All you need is Google AI studio and a very good model like Gemini 2.0 flash. I don't know why Google is not talking about it a lot, but here you go. Google, thank you so much. Or I should say Google, you're welcome. See you in another video. Happy prompting.